Hi, beautiful people. God bless you, whoever is watching me. My name is Evangelist Kasawali. Keep on subscribing, commenting, like, and share on this platform. And again, please try and share these videos to your loved ones to so come and join Kasawali TV because this platform leads you to your uh, to your salvation is the word of wisdom world of truth and the world of salvation you will always be blessed when you follow this platform and when you sharing i'm telling you god will bless you let me pray for you whoever is sharing i'm praying in the mighty name of jesus christ whoever is sharing this video may god bless that person may god enlarge that person may god protect that person that person from all evils may god uplift that person whatever you use your hands to do may god bless it by fire by the holy spirit whatever is on you any sickness may god deliver you from that sickness whilst you are sharing whilst you are sharing for others to uh, to others to come and join this platform may god write your name in heaven may god consider you in everything in the mighty name of jesus christ that i pray amen so if you share you are blessed thank you and follow all my social media handle evangelist kasawale facebook tiktok and instagram evangelist kasawale i'm telling you when you follow all my social media platform you always been blessed because god has blessed all the platforms amen I want us to look something in Romans chapter 2, verse number 9. Romans chapter 2, verse number 5. Sorry. Romans 2, verse number 5. I'm reading. But because you are stubborn and refuse to turn from your sin, you are storing up terrible punishment for yourself for a day. Listen. For a day of anger is coming when God's righteous judgment will be revealed. Amen. But because you are stubborn and refusing to turn from your sin, you are storing up terrible punishment for yourself. The Bible says you are still keeping on storing double punishment for yourself because you are not ready to come out. You are not ready to despise yourself from that sinful behavior. You are not ready to come out from the masturbation. You are not ready to come out from drunkenness. You are not ready to come out from uh, um, um, fornication, murdering. You are not ready to come out from stealing. You are not ready to come out from any bad things. So the Bible says you are keeping on storing your punishment for yourself. You have to know that anything, single thing that you do, that is a sin thing. It's a sinful thing. You are restoring your punishment. So ask yourself, the double sins that you are doing, how many punishment are you storing for yourself? Because there is a day coming when you are still living in your sinful life, your sinful behavior. There is a punishment for you. Come out. Come out. You've been sinning for so many years. You've been sinning since your childhood. But till now, you are still sinning. Do you want to die in this life that you are leading? You are selling drugs for people to destroy their body. Is it good for you to sell drugs for people to, for them to destroy their body? You are sinning. You are causing harm to yourself. You are storing your punishment. God will punish you. There is a time coming. I'm telling you, God will punish you according to your riches, according to whatever you're doing, according to whatever you're restoring. Ah, whatever you is your secret thing. You think nobody is seeing it. 
You think nobody will know it. But I'm reminding you that God, he knows whatever is in your secrets. Whatever is your secret is only God that, that knows. So stop storing your sin, your sins and come to Christ. Because the Bible says for a day of an anger is coming when God righteous judgment when God righteous judgment will be revealed it will revealed to your sins that you are sinning God will review everything that you did on this earth God will review every sinful thing that you did one by one ha huh. repent 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 for god his second coming is at hand repent whatever you're doing repent please repent 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 don't be stubborn against the word of god don't be disobedient to god's words just come to christ so verse number six he said he will judge everyone according to what they have done he will give eternal life to those who keep on doing good amen seven uh, verse number six says he will judge everyone according to what they have done so whatever you Whatever you've done, God will judge you. Whatever you've done, God, or whatever you are doing, God will judge you. And remember, when you die, there is no turning back. Mm -hmm. When you die, there is no turning back. So, and you cannot tell God to give you a second chance to come to the word to 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 do things right no you are dead and you are gone and there is judgment after death has as hebrews said it there is judgment after death so remember after death who is going to judge you the person who is going to judge you and what he is going to use to judge you. You need to think of it and come out from your sin. So verse number seven, he said he will give internal life to those who keep on doing good. My friend, do good. Do good for yourself because he is going to give internal life to us. That we are always trying to do good for Christ. We are always despising. We are always pleading God to fulfill us, to draw ourselves away from fornication, to draw ourselves away from anger, to draw ourselves away from drunkenness, ambition, vision, decision. We are always praying God to deliver us from anything that he will come today, that we are not going to be part of his kingdom. So anytime you need to pray to God, that God deliver me for anytime you need to pray for God deliverance to come upon your life, deliverance to come upon your life, to God to deliver you from the hands of the devil so that you not enter to the temptation. Satan is always working and he is always searching for the place that is empty for he to come and stay in that place. And he will use that person to work as he wants. Don't let the, let the devil to use you to work, but rather allow yourself for God to use you. Fulfill, let God fulfill you because God will give internal life to those people that they are doing good on this earth. So be part of the good people and God will bless you. My name is Evangelist Kasawale. Keep on subscribing, comment, like, and share on this platform. And for more information, 
for more word of wisdom is this platform and again please follow all my social media platform bless you and bless you again and we are about to donate for the offense for the uh, for the orphanage hymns so if you are interested and you want to donate for the orphanage please there is a number right under the screen just pick up the number and let's do that donation together you know any information just pick write the number under the screen and i will give you any information because the children the orphans they need our help bless you again bye for now